two. Let's do it. Let's download her. Bam. Got the iTerms. Let's go ahead and uh, find out where Finder has put it. We will put it into Applications Finder. Don't you know where to put these things? Okay, wonderful. Let's go ahead and open iTerm. Term. Term, yeah. Okay, we've opened it. Yes, it's the web. I understand and I trust it. Okay, beautiful. Uh, but problems, right? We need to set up this thing so it looks magnifique. Let's go ahead and press Command, comma to bring up this thing's uh, preferences. We want to create a dedicated hotkey window, so let's go to keys, hotkey, create dedicated hotkey window. And of course, the best hotkey is option space. So let's go ahead and see if this works just the way we want it. Uh, we'll close this. Yeah, we'll close this too. We don't want that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we got it. Let's see here. What the? Okay, let's try it again. No, it's oh, it's not it's not overlaying. We want this thing to overlay on apps so I can do craziness on them. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, <clears throat> first, let's open up the preferences again. Let's see. I'm just going like this and do command comma. Okay, so let's go to um, <clears throat> pardon me. Go to keys. Uh, no, let's go to profiles actually. Let's go to the hotkey window and then go to keys. And then from here, we will do configure hotkey window. And I want this thing to float. We all float. OK, good. So let's close that. And let's go over to an app. Well, that's odd. Nothing happening. It's over here, though. Maybe what I have to do, let's just quit iTerm, people. Let's just quit it, because that seems to be a good solution. And let's go ahead and open it again. Ah, uh, yes, always check for updates. Always love the updates. What is this doing? I don't want this window. I want my hotkey window. I want the scrolls. Uh, yeah, okay, good. Perfect. So the restart now, the overlay works. And it's doing its overlay. But there's other problems, right? So if I go like this, and then I switch over, well, sometimes it keeps it, actually. Oh, was it keeping it? Oh, 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 didn't keep it. So we want this thing to maintain that it's always going to float over Windows. And the way to do that um, is we have to, again, go preferences. And then from here, um, <clears throat> pardon me, we went to profiles of the hotkey window. We're going again to keys, configure the hotkey window. We're going to say uh, pin. I want you to pin. Stay where I put you and don't move. Well, let's try this again. Let's make sure. Let's. Just in case, let's quit iTerm. Yeah, I'm gonna quit you, I'm sorry. Okay, and then iTerm. It's opened again. Why does it open? I know why it opens. It always opens that window, and I just can't stand it. Uh, let's first test this, then we'll go to that. Okay, so, okay, yeah, good. Here's good. Here, let's keep on changing. Does this ever lose its focus anymore? Oh, you're staying on your focus, people. You're not losing it. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, good. So that, that worked out properly. But there is that one other issue. You guys probably saw that. So if I do uh, quit on this, let's say I quit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next day I open my computer and I say, hey, start up. So I'll say, oh, well, my turn. It's always open this crap. I don't want this thing to be open. I want it just to be open and not open another window. So <clears throat> there is a way to do that. Um, and if I recall, let's do, again, preferences, and uh, let's just say only restore the hotkey window. How about that? So I'll close this, and I'll quit, because this time actually makes sense to quit, P. I actually do want to quit this time. Um, <clears throat> and we'll open up my turn. Hey, only the best, only the best. Let's quit it again, just for funsies. Yeah, and here I turn. That's what I'm talking about. See, it keeps it. Now, what happens though if I do this? Let me just split the plane vertically. Oh, good. Yeah, it's maintained the style of the hotkey. Before, I didn't used to do that. I had to like make the style of the hotkey the default, but now it just keeps it. Um, let. There's other problems you can't see. Um, if I were to move my mouse off screen and do the hotkey. You notice it appears still in the other screen, in this screen. That may be what you want. Maybe you want that. Maybe you want to have um, 
consistency to where your thing is, where your your um, your terminal window is opening. I often want it to be close wherever my 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 cursor happens to be, and so the way to do that, let's just go a long way and go to preferences. That's command option, and I want this thing to follow. So let's let's see if I have to go here, here, go to window. And the screen preference I want is I the screen with the cursor. So wherever my cursor is, that's where I want the overlay to appear. Okay, so I'll close this now. Let's see, let's see here now. It's over here now. Ooh, it's in my other screens. I'm sorry you can't see this, the, the excitement I have that it's in the other screens I have and not just, <clears throat> not just um, in one screen, it's in the other one. Now, some people may want it differently, so I'm, I'm leaving that open to you. Uh, let's see if there's any other things that I want to do to make this amazing. Do, 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 do. Just, let's just test to make sure. And I do a new... Yeah, it's maintained it. This is much nicer than before. Let me go to the preferences again. Command option. And there's some other stuff I probably can play with if I want to. So if I go here and I go to my window... I can make that transparency a little less. Yeah, and maybe a little more blur. There we go. There we go. Now I don't really see much behind me. Heck, you know, actually, I don't need it. I don't need this anyways. I'll just go to completely opaque. And also, I like this to be on the bottom. So let's do that. Uh, let's say style. Uh, full width bottom screen. Let's see if that works then. You haven't listened. Oh, I know why. I know why. So I'm going to quit iTerm. Yeah, I'm going to quit you. And I'll open it again. Let's see if it works now. Oh, that does work now. Look how beautiful that is. That's just so wonderful. And make sure it does this still. Keep my... Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. I am happy. And if you ever want to remove iTerm, that's also easy too. Uh, and I'll first do a application with the trash. Uh, oh, it's open. Let's uh, let's quit iTerm. Oh, oh, oh! I almost forgot. In case you want to keep iTerm, and which I do, but in case you do, there's one other problem. Um, <clears throat> I go to here and go to. Uh, <clears throat> let's see if I have this thing here still. Uh, I only want it to, I don't want it to show up in my dock, in other words. So I want to exclude, <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> so that's wonderful because now she's not there, see? It's only up here. That's another part that's great. But only if all windows are hotkey windows. Ooh, interesting. So I'll go like this. So that means that it should show up. It does show up because I have this window. Now, if I close it, oh, oh beautiful. So I can go here, obviously, and I'll always go my preferences and change that. But So for now, let me go ahead and quit this, and I'll go quit. And yeah, so this time I've quitted the application. Let's say if I want to clean out. So I'll go like this. This would clean out all those, those things and settings I've done. So let's just say I quit that. <clears throat> and I'll hide you again. So now, if I open iTerm, and I try to open, see, none of my stuff is there anymore. It's, it's, what's the word? It's refreshed it completely to what it could have been when it first installed. So if I go to my profiles, you see there's no hockey window. I have just reset the whole thing. Um, and uh, I think that's it. So beautiful. I'll see you peeps later on.